guys, Haley here from The Post Newborn, and today we are talking about Instagram. This is part of our 12 marketing tips for newborn photographers, and today is all about Instagram. So Instagram is, I feel, is a really important social media network for you to be a part of. I believe there are two that you really need to be a part of in, if you have a business in today's time. I don't even know what the word is, but day and age. I don't know. I feel like that's an old thing people say. I don't know. But <laughs> you should definitely need to be part of Instagram. And I'd say Facebook is the other one. I also do Pinterest. Um, I find a lot of my clients love Pinterest. They love doing that. But that is another topic for another marketing tip. <laughs> but those are the three that I do. I don't do Twitter because I don't feel like a lot of my clients are on Twitter but maybe you're sad, so maybe you wanna do that. But definitely Facebook and Instagram. And today we're gonna to talk about 10 tips, 10 marketing tips, I guess 10 Instagram tips, but they also go with marketing, because everything you do on Instagram is gonna be seen by clients and potential clients, so everything you do is a marketing strategy. So, number, we're gonna get right into it, but first, before we start, you need to have a fa an Instagram business account. So when you sign up for Instagram, it's probably gonna be a personal account. Well, you wanna go to settings and you wanna make it a business account so that you'll be able to run ads if you want to. You don't have to. We're not gonna talk about that today. That's for another time. I'm gonna keep this on because I'm gonna forget all of my 10 topics. <laughs> and then I'll go, and then I'll have nine, and I'll be like, what's the 10th one? I don't know. There's no way to find out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go by the list I have here, so I'm gonna keep it on. But again, make a, Instagram business account. Do it. Then, our number one tip is to connect Instagram to your other social media accounts, especially Facebook. Now, Facebook owns Instagram, so this is really easy to do. Once you set up your Instagram account, you can connect it to your Facebook account, and if it is a business Instagram account, you will be able to connect it to your business Facebook page, which makes it really easy, especially if you're selling stuff on a platform. If your business sells stuff on Shopify or another platform like that, you'll be able to link your sale items to Instagram. It doesn't really apply to newborn photographers. I don't use that feature, but it's a really good feature. But if you're doing that kind of thing, like clothing or something like that, I don't know, maybe your business that could benefit you, I don't know. But I'm not sure, I haven't even really thought about that. But I don't use Shopify for my newborn photography business, so I'm not sure about that, how that would work. But it's a cool feature. So, so you do want to connect your Instagram to your Facebook business account because you'll be able to share your Instagram posts to your Facebook business account and your Facebook personal account as well. And this is a very good thing to do because it will share your Instagram page. People can click on it and they can follow you on Instagram. If you have a big Facebook following, this is gonna be very beneficial to you. If you do not, it'll still be beneficial. You'll still get new followers every time you post on Facebook. Also, I think this is another tip, so we're going to read a lot. <laughs> yes, tip number two, follow your friends and potential clients. So when you link your Facebook page and your Instagram page. They're you're gonna ask you if you wanna follow all your Facebook friends and you're gonna say, yes, yes I do. So you're gonna follow all your Facebook friends. You're going to interact with them and interact with their posts and yeah, like them all because they'll follow you too. If they know you, they're more likely to follow you. It's, oh, Haley's on Facebook with their photography page? Well, let me give that a follow. So your friends that you already have, the people you already know, are more likely to follow your business. And in the beginning, they are more likely to purchase from you as well because they already know you and they already trust you. So get them on board, get them on your Instagram page, give them another platform to follow you on and to share with their friends. Also, follow potential clients or at least like, con maybe um, if, your friends are talking to someone or about a topic, jump right on in and talk to, and then follow that person. If that's not really creepy at all, <laughs> that isn't, but maybe like random following people you think might, um, might like your page might seem a little creepy. I don't think so. No, 
especially acquaintances. If you know that person, hey, I knew that person in college, follow. Hey, I knew this person, follow. So you can do it that way too. But be sure to yeah, interact with them. And if they follow, you follow them back. If they look like they're, they're from your area and they look like a potential client, give them a follow back and interact with the things that they post. They post, I don't know, a picture of Hershey Park. Oh, I love Hershey Park. It looks like you had such a fun day. Stuff like that. Okay. Here we go. Follow your clients and interact. Follow your clients and interact with them. Sorry, I'm talking to you. Not my computer. <laughs> Tip number three, follow your clients and interact with them. On my newborn questionnaire form that I send to all my clients, there's a spot for um, their Instagram, is Facebook and Instagram to tell me their, to tell me their um, page, their pages and their accounts so that I can follow them and like them. So I'll follow my clients on Instagram and they follow me back. I tag them in their pictures and I also interact with them. So if they post... Oh, Lily's second birthday was so much fun. They post that, I'm gonna be like, oh, Lily's two already? I can't believe it, happy birthday, Lily. So this helps build my relationship with my client, plus I really do like watching my clients grow. Like this isn't fake. The things that I do aren't fake. Like, and I don't know, it's just, I know sometimes that it comes across like, I've heard from like other people like doing stuff like this. It's just this is fake. It's just to grow your business. And I know that I'm giving you marketing tips, so it seems like it. But honestly, guys, I've done this for years. And I didn't know that it was a marketing tip. I didn't know that it was helping me build this relationship with my clients. I didn't do it for that. I didn't do it because I wanted more clients. I did it because I actually want to see Lily second birthday party and I'm actually, I don't even know this Lily is honestly, but I actually want to see my clients grow up. It actually makes me really happy It actually, to see them. I do form real relationships with my clients and that is really important to do. It really is. I really care about them. I had a little girl come into the studio today for her first birthday pictures and I love the family. I did their maternity, their newborn, and now first birthday. And I talked to them and asked them how they're doing and how their business is doing and how Natalie is doing. And we talk about her and all this. And I even tell them about my son who's 15 months old. And I want to see her grow up. I want to see their family. I have connected to their family. and. I mean, it's a genuine connection. So no, I don't think faking it is gonna work. You need to genuinely, 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 be connected to your clients and want to know them. But these are marketing tips, guys. They really are. What started out for me is just really caring about my clients and really wanting to see them grow and really wanting to interact with them because I really liked them and they really did become a part of my family, my extended family, it became a marketing strategy. And it is really, really simple. If you build a bond with your client, if you like them, if you, have, if you are talking to them and they're seeing your family and you're seeing theirs, you're building a bond and they're gonna trust you. They're gonna be, you're gonna become their friend. And like I said, friends and family are more likely to book you because they know you and they trust you. So you're building that relationship. And that, while it should be organic and while it shouldn't be forced and while it shouldn't be false, is a marketing strategy. Okay, I just wanted to clear that up because I'm not just like, oh, I, happy birthday, Lily. Oh, I couldn't care less about Lily. Who cares about Lily? I love Lily. Love her. This fictional child I just made up really love her. <laughs> it's really hot in here, guys. Is it hot where you live? Because it's really, really hot in here. And I had to turn the air off um, because you can't hear me when I talk. And now I'm just melting, melting, melting like the Wicked Witch. Okay, <laughs> number four is to be social. Yay, social. So... <laughs> You want, like I said, you want to comment on people's pages, whether they're your clients or your friends or anyone else, comment on their pages. 
because they're going to form an interaction with them, and their friends are going to see you, and it will post up your name. So mine is Haley Willie Dan Photography. And they'll be like, oh, Haley Willie Dan Photography. Photographer. Okay, let's go we'll let check out. So they'll go and check you out. Also, the hashtags that you use a lot, the people, your clients, what hashtags they will use, go check that out. And comment on them comment on pictures and things that your clients might like, your clients might see, um, yeah, things that, you're, things that you think your clients will like. Just go out there and be social with Instagram and spread love because <laughs> they will come back to you. People will see you and they'll want to follow you. Number five, use lots of hashtags. Now I'm going to start singing. Oh, I didn't know what you were signing up for when you, when you click this YouTube video. Yikes. So use lots of hashtags. Lots of hashtags. Because that's how people are going to find you that don't follow you. So you want to use, maybe you can use newborn photography, newborn photographer. Those are good, but they're not going to help you get clients. Nope. People aren't Googling. Well, they may be Googling newborn photography, but... There's so many people on there that use the hashtag newborn photography, they're not going to find people in their area. So maybe do, you could do Maryland newborn photographer or West Virginia newborn photographer. I do all the surrounding states, the states that I, um, that I photograph in. Yeah, Maryland. I'm Maryland photographer, West Virginia photographer. Um, you can do your city, though my city isn't big. So if I do Martinsburg photographer, or Shepherdstown photographer, it's gonna be like cricket. So I might do that once in a while just to get me on there. I don't know, I could do it. And then it just somebody searches it. Shepherdstown, West Virginia, newborn photographer. And it's like, whoa, it's just Haley. <laughs> it's just her, she's the only one. I must go to her. I guess I could do that. I, yeah, I might start doing that, that looks good. But yeah, you definitely, to get clients, you want to hashtag with the purpose, that they're actually gonna see it. But they're actually going to see you and use, yeah, use your city hashtag, your state hashtags. You don't even have to use photography or photographer. I do both. I use just Shepherdstown, West Virginia. A lot of people Google that. It's a very small town and pretty popular small town on the border of Maryland. So a lot of people do Google that and they do find me or do, do search that hashtag. Google, what are we doing? the heat guys seriously the humidity here it's bananas but a lot of people do search that so or hashtag search that search that hashtag okay i need to wrap this up <laughs> they do search that hashtag so you are going to get potential clients in that way okay next one this is fun you want to create your own hashtag your own business hashtag this is so much fun. I have them for um, seniors. I had HWP seniors. I have just Haley Willingham Photography. I think I need to come up with something better than that though. I was gonna do like HWP something, but that's already, like all those are taken. Womp womp. So I know I just have Haley Willingham Photography, but if you make it something cooler, <laughs> like I don't know, something hashtag that sounds really cool then people your clients are going to use it too and if somebody clicks that link they're going to see all your work like a portfolio of your work so it's going to be really cool for them to see so definitely create a hashtag that is personal to you and to your brand and that nobody or not a lot of people use oops i lost it okay number seven you want to relate to your followers yeah so a lot, a lot of businesses posting pictures might be a struggle. It might be like posting pretty pictures. They might feel like a software engineer and you're posting all this software stuff. You want to post pretty pictures or pretty things or whatever. But all we are posting are pictures. And when you post a picture, sure, your clients are going to see that and they're really going to like it. Yeah, they're going to like a little little baby photography <laughs> little newborns little babies a lot that's so cute but they can't really relate to that they can't unless it's their baby or they know that baby they can't really relate to that so you want to extend your post you don't just want to be posting clients you want to be posting about things that your clients can relate to 
maybe like your life. Like your baby won't sleep through the night. <laughs> Or um, your daughter's trying to have her soccer practice and you're so scared or so whatever. Um, post a cute picture, cute picture of her in her soccer uniform and like wish you luck, guys, and all this stuff. And those are things that they can relate to and that they can get to know you and build a relationship to you. So be sure to be posting about your life and things your clients can relate to as well. Being a newborn photographer, I just I had a baby, I have a one-year-old, so I will do posts about him, posts about items that I cannot live without. Because guess what, my clients are in, have newborns, they have babies, <laughs> so they would love that. Gifts that I bought my son, my daughter, my son for his first birthday. Things like that. Things, yeah, what do I feed my one-year-old? <laughs> Different things like that are things that your clients or potential clients are going to want to know. So, and they can relate to that. Like, yeah, my baby don't sleep through the night either, girlfriend. Woohoo, high five, take more pictures. <laughs> it's not as easy as that, but it does create a relationship and build a relationship with your clients. <laughs> okay, number eight. Yeah, like I, this is a different, another one. Showcase personal experiences that relate to your brand. So if you are, doing something with your kids, like going, I do this now on my website, on my blog. I share blog posts of us doing things within the community. People want to know what to do with their kids. <laughs> that sounds bad. What do I do with these children? But they want ideas. So we go all over the community. We go to water parks. We go to fun museums. We go restaurants too i do that too i really love to promote mom and pop shops stores things like that so whenever we're out in the community i bring my camera along and snap some pictures and then i do a blog post of us um exploring our world and my clients that they love that these are like professional photos that i've taken like with my big girl camera and i post them on my blog and I show them new places that they can take their kids and it does relate to my brand because my brand is all about capturing moments. My brand is, yeah, capturing moments. They're only this little for so long and you need to capture the moments before they pass. So it relates to my brand because I'm in the moment, I'm capturing memories. It's actually what I call that section, um, magical or capturing memories, so I forget what I call it now, let me go see. But I have that and it relates to my brand because my brand is all about, like I said, capturing moments before they pass. So find something that relates to your brand and bring it in, think about your brand, think about what your followers, what your potential clients will want to do, want to be, what they wanna read about, what they wanna see, and do it and bring them in to your brand to your world. I don't know. It's not your business, really. You're just bringing them into your Instagram world, your Facebook world, all of that so they can know you, they can build a bond with you. And when you're like, hey, I'm doing family photos and they're like, yeah, I love Haley. She's amazing. I love her so much. They've never met me, but they feel like they do because of everything that I post and they love me. And they're like, I want to work with you. And then they get there to the session I've been following you for two years. I love everything about you and I'm so, 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 so excited that I got a chance to work with you. And it's like very humbling and I'm like, me? Little me? Okay, okay, awesome. I'm excited to work with you too. I'm really excited because you really love me and that makes me really happy. <laughs> I love working with people that really wanna work with me. And if you're just starting out, I know that it can be daunting when you have to convince people of your worth and you have to convince people that you are worth the prices you charge and that they want to work with you. But as you go these eight years now, I have people that want to work with me. It's very humbling to get a letter from somebody that is expecting a newborn baby. And they're like, I have been following your journey, your photography for three years. I like, this is a letter that I got recently and I might cry. <laughs> like I have struggled with fertility and I got pregnant and I lost the baby and now I'm pregnant again and I am 20 weeks along and I am 
so excited and I want you, 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 I am so excited that I finally get to book a painful woman session with you. And it's so humbling, I'm gonna cry. But it is, guys, and it will happen. It will happen if you build those relationships organically and meaningfully, purposefully, and I can't, that's distracting and that goes out of having emotional moments. <laughs> if you build those relationships, it will happen. People will book you because of you. So just stay in there and I'm helping you to build this. And no, it won't happen overnight. These tips are awesome and they're going to help you. But no, it's not gonna be overnight. Things don't happen overnight. If you want instant results, you have to build that up. And yeah, after eight years, after, maybe not exactly eight, less than that, but I'm talking about my eight years now, but um, after some time, you will get clients regularly. You will post many sessions and they will sell out, but you do have to build it. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> You're not gonna be instantly successful overnight. You're not. These tips are just to help you build that up so that you can be successful. Okay. Number nine. Use stories to connect to your followers. Okay. I don't do this nearly enough and I understand. Understand hand. I need my <laughs> media resolution. I <laughs> need your resolution. My goal once I start getting time back. I really don't have time. I'm working on a project now for the Pose Newborn. I have tons of clients. For some reason, people want to die outside in this horrible heat to get photos taken with me. Bless their little hearts. But <laughs> seriously, guys, I have a session today. It's gonna be 105. Like, what? What? Come on, people. Come on, summer, really. Sheesh, I like summer, but 105? can't even breathe out there. Okay, yeah, so I've been really busy, but this is definitely something that I should be doing, everybody should be doing, is Instagram stories. And the stories are great because you can actually just do whatever you want. Not whatever you want, I guess that's weird. But you can get more personal on stories. You can show behind the scenes. I really wanna do this, like every session. I wanna go behind the scenes and show everything that I've set up for the session and all of my studio and everything cute like that to maybe a little video from the session, a little story, a little pose in the bucket, whatever. Stuff like that is really great. And then I can also share like what I'm doing on my days off with my kids running around the lake like crazy people. <laughs> and I can share behind the scenes of family shoots and all kinds of stuff. And it really does help build a connection with your potential clients. You're like, oh, that would be so much fun. I want to go run around the field with Haley. That looks like the best day ever. So you can, yeah, you can totally build a relationship with your potential clients through Instagram stories. Okay, number 10 is the last one, and I know what it is. Move the link. But it is don't overpost. With Instagram, you don't have to post a lot. You really don't. Um, once or twice a day is really all that you need. And the best times to post are between 8 and 9 in the morning and 2 and 3 in the afternoon. This is when your clients, I don't know if they're getting off work at 2 and 3 or maybe they're just off work. <laughs> like they have given up for the day at that time. And they're just on Facebook and Instagram, but they are. Weird. And then <laughs> right before work is also a really good time or before they get started in their day, they're like on Instagram for a little bit. So those are really good times to post during the weekdays. During the weekends, a morning post is good. Um, you really don't have to do anything more than that unless you want to. But yeah, so there's your 10 tips to um, help you marketing on Instagram. And the blog post is linked below if you want to check that out and get the written tips because you can't understand my mumbling and my going off in tangents. So the blog post is below. This video is real fun. You get like real emotions, real me. It's fun. But if you want the facts, they're in the blog. Yes. So click the link below um, to see the blog. There's also a link for a freebie from me, my newborn photography questionnaire, which is below. So click that link and you'll be able to download it 
for free. Yay. <laughs> okay, guys. I will talk to you next time when we will be talking about another tip. And I should know what it is, but we don't. But next week on Monday, come back. Subscribe to my channel so that you see all the new stuff. I'm posting tomorrow, Tuesday. I'm like, I say tomorrow, but I don't know when you're watching this. <laughs> tomorrow, Tuesday, I will be having a special special sneak peek at something that we're working on. I think I will have it Tuesday. Sometime this week, guys. I'm like, no, that's not what I was doing tomorrow. <laughs> but it will be up sometime this week. So subscribe to the channel and you won't miss anything that I post because I obviously have no idea when things are getting posted. <sighs> but if you subscribe, then you will get a heads up when new content is posted and you will get all of our marketing tips because we are giving away all of the secrets to marketing your photography business for future future growth and to get clients right away and build up to get more clients in the future. But yes, we are basically these marketing tips will help you somewhat right now, but will really help you in the future. So come back and watch the other tips and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day and stay cool. <laughs> Bye.